Hey everyone, thanks for watching. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to update your profile picture inside of WebEx Meetings. There's a couple different places that your profile picture appears. The most common is when you're in a meeting, you're the active speaker, but you have your video turned off. Uh, by default, it shows your initials inside of a circle. Uh, we want to actually have our profile picture visible uh, in the case that we have our video turned off so the people still recognize our name and face together. This image is also visible in the roster when you're in a meeting. It's visible inside of the WebEx desktop app. It's visible online, and I'll show you uh, the online example here in just a second. Let's dive in and check it out. Changing your profile picture is simple. Navigate to the name of your WebEx domain, .webex.com. In this case, it's fakedomain.webex.com. You'll be brought to a screen that looks something like this. Here you can see I already have a profile picture set. Uh, you can actually see here the initials inside of the recent personal meetings room where someone has not configured a profile picture. The other guys on my team have. Uh, you also see profile pictures with upcoming meetings. The picture of the host is available. What we want to do is actually change the profile picture itself. And you simply hover over the profile picture location until it says change and then you can upload a profile picture. Now it is recommended that it be formatted into 720 by 720. Uh, ideally it is a square image because you notice it crops, uh, you know, does the round outline to crop the image. So if part of, your, part of your smiling face is outside of that crop zone, it will be cut off. Uh, and as long as that image is less than five megabytes, you should be good. Hit upload and a box will be opened either on your Mac or Windows that allows you to navigate for a image file to upload. When you're done, close the box and your profile picture will be propagated throughout the systems. Hopefully that's been helpful. If you have questions, comments, other tips or tricks, please leave them in the video comment section below. Hit that subscribe button if you're new here and give this video a thumbs up if it was helpful. Thanks for watching.